This is Circuit Boulevard's flash array prototype. The server is off-the-shelf supermicro server based on latest Intel Skylake CPUs. Here you see two CPU sockets. We have four units of Cosmos OCSC mini carts. These are PCI carts with Silent FPGA, which can be programmed as SSD controller. The cards also support up to one terabyte NAND flash. For NVMe or fabrics, we utilize MetalX ConnectX cards for 40 or 100 gigabits per second Ethernet RDMA connections. The graph shows initial performance measurement. As number of Cosmos OCSSD cards increase, so does the throughput. Red and blue bars represent two versions of host FTL that we used. This is video server demo based on Docker containers and Kubernetes. For Kubernetes, we have two worker nodes for NVMe or Fabrics target drives and video server apps. The NVMe or Fabrics target containers run CircuitBoard's whole space to FTL as a part of SPDK user process. In addition, we have third Kubernetes node in master, which launches and monitors multiple Docker images. Let's see how Kubernetes master launches multiple containers. Here we see three Linux shell windows. The top left window is a worker node for SPDK and VMware Fabrics containers. The top right window is another worker node for video server containers based on Nginx web server. The bottom window is Kubernetes master node. Initially, we don't have any workloads or pods in Kubernetes Dragon running. First, we launch NVMe over Fabrics targets. By examining last line of container logs, we can see the intended for NVMe or Fabrics target containers are now up and running. Now we need to deploy four containers of video servers. These servers make the network connections to NVMe or Fabrics target disks before copying movies and thumbnail images. As you can see, we do not have any NVMe drives now. It seems that all the video servers are also up and running. Now we can see network drives are also initialized. This will be shown in the top right window. To play back the videos, we built simple web video players based on video.js framework. Here we launched four players, each corresponds to four video servers we just launched. The web video player has basic control like volumes and seats. On the side, it also has video playlists so that the user can click on any video clips that they want to play. This demo is based on four NVMe or Fabrics cards, but using Camu OCS with the emulator, we verified up to 24 video servers are working well in parallel. Now let's have a look at Kubernetes dashboard. The overview panel gives a pretty good idea about what's running in your Kubernetes cluster. It shows CPU and memory usages. It also shows that there are two deployments for NVMe over fabrics, targets, and video servers. We have a total of eight pods or containers. Each deployment is running as replica sets of size four. We would like to thank the following communities, organizations, and individuals for their support. Thank you for watching.